Hey everybody, we're back with another video from the David Marion Collection mini-series that we've been doing. Now, David is a subscriber and sent us his entire collection, uh, minus the Brooks Robinson cards, a few weeks back. And it, I was so just like, kind of like overwhelmed. I was like, we need to kind of like turn this into its own video or its own series. So we've been opening it up in uh, increments here. We've done two boxes so far. The first box had two boxes in there and there was about, I don't know, about 20 packs in each one. And inside each pack, there was one awesome top loaded card uh, and a bunch of other great cards and uh, top loaders. And uh, we're going to go through this box we have here and make part three of this video basically so let me open this up and let's see what we have inside here we have some newspaper to keep everything in check i guess we'll show you what we have and oh boy it looks like we have two more boxes so this is going to be video number three and it's probably going to be a four-part series We've just been doing it every Saturday, so we're going to pick out one of these boxes and go through them. Um, you guys have seen, you guys have loved these videos. They're averaging about 20,000 views. Um, if you would like to send any Brooks Robinson cards for me to donate to uh, Mr. David Marion, by all means, I have a pile that I've been uh, collecting for him uh, because I just cannot believe his generosity. All right, so here we go. You might be thinking, what are you doing with all these cards? Um, that's a great question. I've been sending them off to my Patreon patrons Throughout the past couple weeks, a lot of you probably have seen them coming or shown up in some of your grab bags that I've been putting together. All right, inside we have these awesome foil packs. You've seen these already. They're called Mad Mover Packs, which is modern, vintage, and retro. And let's get right to it. You guys know the stuff that's in here. Uh, lots of awesome stuff. And um, you never know what you're going to find. So our first pack, you can see there's a nice thick top loader card there. Off the very top, we have a nice Clayton Kershaw there from Topps Heritage. Whoops. Now some of the filler cards from the middle come sliding out. Can't forget about 86 Topps Eddie Murray, Dave Cohn, 88 Fleer, 84 Al Oliver. Always like the 85 Don Ross set. And another cool thing about these packs is there's older cards from the 60s and 70s, usually leading right up um, to the top loaded card. There's a nice Bryce Harper. And here we go. You can see there's Ron Santo, Frank Malzone, I guess, Orlando Cepeda. How about a Lou Brock 1970 tops? Is that awesome or what? And the top loaded card, which is usually the big hit in each one, is an autographed Aaron Sanchez card. That is a nice one. Autographed Aaron Sanchez rookie card. Very, very nice. Um, 2014, Aaron Sanchez. Having a bit of a rough season, but... Um, I root for this guy a lot. He's a cool guy. Had a conversation with him at batting practice in Cleveland a few years ago. And uh, really down-to-earth dude. So always rooting for Aaron Sanchez. Moving on to our next pack. You can see he wrapped each of these in foil. And then there is uh, this saran wrap around it to keep the cards from jostling about. And shipping, I see a 72 tops down there peering out at us. You can see an 82 tops Ken Griffey Sr. on top of Barry Bonds rookie card. 87 Don Ross. Love that card. I love my Barry Bonds rookies. Lee Smith. Austin Meadows rookie card. I don't really collect too many pirates. I have so many of them that I just kind of shut down my collecting of pirates. But that's one card that I'll always buy if I ever see it. It's Austin Meadows rookie card. I think he's going to be good uh, for many years to come. There's a nice Kyle Ripken Jr. bazooka. What's that? 95 bazooka, I think. I used to like that set a lot. Juan Marichal, 72. Giants, 72 team set or team card there. Then we have a Frank Robinson there from 1974. And the hit is going to be a Carlton Fisk rookie card. 1972 tops. How about that one? Carlton Fisk rookie card on there with Cecil Cooper. That is a very, very nice card. Love these older cards. Beautiful. Love 70s rookie cards, 60s rookie cards. That's pretty much uh, the stuff that I'm going to be looking for when I got to the National next week. Looking for older rookie cards from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And also some from the 80s, like Barry Bonds and Juniors. Probably will spend a lot of time at the dollar boxes looking for those ones. 
Here we have a nice Nolan Ryan 1985 Topps Design Chrome card. That's a pretty sweet looking card. I like that one. Matt Williams rookie card from 88 Fleer. A Chris Sale rookie. That's a nice one. Chris Sale from 2011 Topps. Sometimes you'll find that card in the pharmacy boxes. Floating around out there. Clay Buckholes rookie card. Uh, Curtis Pride and Sean Green rookie cards. Curtis Pride was actually a deaf player, which is uh, was pretty awesome. He was able to play the game despite that disability. Curtis Pride, always uh, admired him. Willie Stargell and Hank Aaron, 1972 tops. I like that card a lot. Andy Messersmith. Carl Yastrzemski, 74 tops is a nice one. And the hit is going to be, it is a 1973, I think it is. Yep, 73 tops. Babe Ruth, Hank Aaron, and Willie Mays card. Uh, we saw this card, I think, in one of the previous videos. Um, this was right when um, Aaron was getting close to passing Babe Ruth. You can see he's getting pretty close there. 714 was the record at the time, and Aaron would fly past that and end up with 755. You can see that Aaron and Mays were only about 19 home runs apart at that particular stage in their career, but Mays really kind of uh, faded out there at the end. Didn't have a great last season with the New York Mets. As uh, time caught up to him, but Aaron was able to go for a few more. All right, let's see what we have here. We got a Mark McGuire first tops cards. No more Garcia Para future star card. Johnny Bench seventy four is a nice one. I used to have these. Ken Griffey Jr. I used to have this award winner set somewhere. I have these cards out in my garage in my childhood collection. Jose Abreu, Tommy John. See what else we have here. Dave Cass, Kurt Schilling owned the game. That's one of those late 90s inserts, which is pretty cool. Brett Boone. And our hit is a Roger Maris. That is a nice looking card right there. Roger Maris, of course, most people know him for hitting 61 home runs in 1961. This is his 59 tops card. There's the back. Uh, that is a very, very nice card. I like that card a lot. Roger Maris back with the Kansas City Athletics. A lot of people think that Roger Maris should be a Hall of Famer um, just because of what he was able to accomplish there. If he would have had a few more awesome seasons, I think he definitely would have been in the hall. All right, next up we got a good old 90 Leaf card on the top. That's probably, actually it is, it's the best set from 1990. 1990 Leaf still has some value. You can usually find those wax boxes. You have to pay about 50 to 80 bucks for them just because there's some nice rookie cards in there, like Frank Thomas and Sammy Sosa. Fergie Jenkins, 72 tops, isn't too shabby. I see a Mike Piazza, 93 top prospect card. What else do we got in here? Bobby Gritch, Robin Yount, 1980. See a Randy Johnson, 89 Donruss coming up. That's his rookie card right there, rated rookie. And then we have a 74 rookie pitcher's rookie card of some guys that we won't name. And our hit is going to be after the Earl Weaver it's a George Brett rookie card. Holy cow. That is awesome. I have a George Brett rookie card that I picked up at a flea market for, I think it was five bucks, but it's all, it looks like um, somebody sat on it and um, like then maybe like fell asleep on it because it's all creased up. But this is a nice one. George Brett crease free rookie card. Very, very nice. There's the back of it. You can see, unfortunately, this card was at the back of the pack there and Looks like it got either uh, the stick of gum or some wax on it. But still, that is a nice card. I always, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I've said it a million times. Cards could be beat up. Look like you put them through the wash, and I don't care. Condition doesn't really matter too much to me. Of course, like, I'm not going to pay top value for a beat up card. I just like to have them. All right, here's our next pack. That was a nice one. George Brett. So we've seen some nice cards, and I think in the last video we had a. Um, a Dave Winfield rookie card, 74 tops coming out of there. We had a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card in one of these packs. I think it was 82 Donruss in just awesome condition. Really cool stuff. We had a Mike Trout first Heritage card that we gave away on the channel. Uh, 2012 Topps Heritage. That was like a $75 card. Gave that one away earlier this week. And here's our next pack. And our next hit is a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Holy crap, David. Man, this is like the the rookie card box. Carlton Fisk, then George Brett, and now Ken Griffey Jr., the card that pretty much kicked the junk wax era into overdrive. Everybody wanted this card when they were growing up. I actually pulled one of these from a pack. 
um, I don't know, maybe like three years ago, but it's not, for some reason I remember it not being in perfect condition, but this one looks beautiful. How about that one? Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. That is a gorgeous card. The first card ever, card number one, in Upper Deck's debut set from 1989. Love that card. Thank you so much, David. That's gorgeous. So what else do we have in here? What other rookie cards are hiding out in these one touches? Holy cow. All right, we have, speaking of rookies, we got a Manny Machado rookie card there. A lot of you Padres fans would like that one. If I can get this wrapping off here. Dylan Bundy's also on there. 2013 rookie stars. I also see a 72 tops Phil Necro. I'm going to be really looking for cards from the 70s. I hope that there's some guys. A Tom Browning autograph just kind of like hanging out in there. That's pretty awesome. That was from uh, archives last year. We did pull a few of these cards in my break that I did. I think I did a few cases of 2018 tops archives. I think we pulled at least two of this card. That's a nice one. That was a surprise. Wasn't expecting that just to be hanging out with the middle ones. And uh, there's the Necro. We have Liriano, Frank Robinson, 73 tops. That's a nice looking card. And our hit is going to be a Mike Schmidt, 74 tops. That's a nice looking card right there. I don't have that one. That is Schmidt's second year card, but it's the first tops card that he has all by himself. And his rookie card for 73 tops, he's on there with two other prospects. So this is a nice one to have. Mike Schmidt's first card all by himself. That is a nice one. Uh, a lot of people like Mike Schmidt a lot, and I do have some Phillies fans I know out there that just alarms going off in my head, like, who can I send this to? A couple of people come to mind right away. That one's definitely going to find a nice home. All right, next up, we have, by the way, David said that I could um, open a few, give away the unopened ones, give them to your brother, give them to your fans, keep them for yourselves. You gave me total discretion over how to use these, and I'm honestly planning on giving away pretty much all of them. The only card that I want to definitely keep is that Clemente 73. I mean, it's a beautiful card, and um, I just want to forward as many of these cards as I can to you guys that are on my Patreon side. really appreciate that. been working on that all night, the $4 tier. I um, think I'm going to try to surprise you guys this month, and instead of sending you two random cards up it to like four or maybe five. Kristen Yelich, gold cup card. It's a Kyle Ripken. Then we have a 72 rookie card from the Brew Crew. And Cleet Boyer, Ted Williams manager card, 71. I haven't seen this one before. I've, I think I have a couple of the 72 tops, Ted Williams manager, but not this one. And the hit, it's a rookie card. It is another Catfish Hunter rookie card. We had this one earlier as well. This was in the last video. So David had two of this card. That's awesome. 1965 tops, Catfish Hunter. Uh, I mentioned before, it's an uncorrected error on the back. It says Tim Hunter instead of Jim Hunter. Jim Catfish Hunter right there. That's a very, very nice card. I like that one a lot. Uh, I think we have the other one sitting actually right over here. You can see <laughs> that's pretty convenient. So we got two of this card now. Uh, that's beautiful. Very, very nice card. Thank you very much, David. We have about 10 more of these to go. This is why I divide them up into, I'm trying to get them in like 20 minute videos because I, again, I didn't want to make like a hour and a half or two hour long video of doing all these at once just because I feel like the average watcher wouldn't watch an entire two hour video. The average watch time on my channel is about 10 to 12 minutes per video. So try to Try to keep it a little bit shorter. That's why I'm making a little series here. All right, here is the next Steven Strasburg, next pack here. There's that Mike Schmidt reprint card. Pretty cool. 2012 rookie starts. If we remember any of these guys. Hey, there's Brad Peacock. He's been pretty good. Wade Boggs. Nolan Ryan. Been seeing a lot of these cards recently. Remember those? That's uh look at Nolan Ryan. He's He's a legend. Nolan Ryan, definitely one of the legends. One of the all-time greats. Rod Carew, 71 tops. And the hit is going to be, looks like maybe a 65 tops card. It's a Mel Stottlemyre. Mel Stottlemyre. And that one is his rookie card. Uh, rest in peace, Mel Stottlemyre. If I'm not mistaken, he passed away not too long ago. 
That is a nice one. New York Yankees rookie Mel Stoudemire. Some of you remember him. He was the pitching coach for uh, a good many years during the Yankees dynasty years. Used to see him going out there to the mound, talking with uh, Andy Pettit and Dave Cohn and David Wells and all those guys. Mel Stoudemire. His son Todd Stoudemire had a nice MLB career as well. You might remember him. All right, let's see what we have in this next pack. We got one of those. Is that an Allen and Ginter mini on the top? Chase Utley, it looks like. Uh, Justin Verlander. Roger Clemens. Lou Pinella, 84 Donruss. That's on my hit list for the Nationals, finding a box of 84 Donruss. I've pretty much done almost all of the 80s in my Throwback Thursday. I've got a couple that I'm missing, 84 Donruss and 83 Tops. So I'm going to be really looking for those hard. Trying to pick up a box of those at the National. Open up for a Throwback Thursday. Here we have a rookie card. You might remember Frank Tanana right there. 74 tops. I haven't seen that one before. And here's our uh, Carl Yastrzemski is our hit. A nice Carl Yastrzemski Hall of Famer there from 1964 tops. There's the back of it. Very, very nice card. Carl Yastrzemski. Could, uh, anytime I try to spell his name growing up, I could never do it correctly. And honestly, I probably still couldn't do it if, if I had to. That would be a good um, Kahoot question. Choose the correct spelling of Carl Yastrzemski's last name. I always wanted to spell like Y-A-Z or Y-A-S-Z, and it was just a mess. Carl Yastrzemski. If you know how to spell his name, you're probably a Red Sox fan, that's for sure. A diehard Red Sox fan. All right, here's the next pack. We've got a Max Scherzer in there. Notice his two different color eyes, which is always pretty cool. Then we have a Jim Edmonds rookie card from... 1993 tops, Moise Salou, Gold Cup card. His rookie card's actually 1990. Remember getting that 90 score card of him. Christian Yelich, Gold Cup card. Paul Blair, Ted Abernathy, Yogi Berra, 74. Got a Jim Palmer, 72. And the hit is going to be a Whitey Ford card. Very nice. 1965 tops, Whitey Ford. Check out the back on that bad boy. A little bit of a scuff right there, but that doesn't matter. Uh, Whitey Ford was one of my dad's favorite players growing up. Uh, Mickey Mantle by... Far and away, just like by miles, was my dad's favorite player, but my dad also liked Whitey Ford. I've never seen a couple Whitey Ford cards in his collection. For some reason, my dad really didn't have any Mickey Mantle cards in his collection. He said he used to have some, but I guess he lost them. They used to play a game where they used to um, set up their cards against the wall, kind of like uh, this. And then they'd throw the cards, and if they knocked them down, they got all the cards. I'm um, going to do that with 91 Fleer because, I mean, really... It's 91 Fleer. We can throw these cards, and it's not going to matter. But, yeah, I guess he used to have some Mickey Mantle cards, and he lost them in, in one of those games, which is very unfortunate. I was able to pick him up for Christmas years ago, probably like, I don't know, 10 years ago or so, the entire 1957 Topps Yankees set, and the Mickey Mantle's in there. Man, that was fun to put together. Bought those one card at a time over the course of about a year. Will Clark rookie cards on the top, by the way. There's the Lords of the Diamond. Pretty cool card. We saw Ken Griffey Jr., Lords of the Diamond. Uh, I think it was the last video that we did like this. Some mad cards. And I always like this set. Tops Black Gold 93. Man, I used to chase that set so hard when I was a kid. I think it was like one in every 72 packs. It's a Reggie Jackson 74. And the hit card is a Sandy Koufax. 65 top Sandy Koufax. Very, very, very nice. You can see there's a bit of a crease there, but that's still pretty cool. Sandy Koufax, one of the uh, best pitchers of that era. You can see those earned run averages under two for the uh, 63 and 64. A little bit of a green crayon on the back, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter to me. That's a beautiful card. All right. We've upgraded, by the way. I'm sure some people say it in the comments. We've upgraded from a nail file to an actual X-Acto knife here. So it's making the cuts a little easier, saving some time. I was trying to get my other utility knife, get the blade out, but I needed like a hex key. So I just like, I was at Walmart picking up a shelving unit tonight and some paper for the copier. And I saw this for like three bucks. I was like, I'm going to grab that. It'll make tonight's video a little bit easier. All right, we got Ken Griffey Jr., rated rookie from 89, Don Ross on the top. That's a nice one. You guys might remember Travis Fryman. Uh, his rookie card is 90 tops traded, but uh, that uh, tops finest is a set that I definitely need to do for Throwback Thursday at some point. Really, really cool. I'm really looking for That's another one, 93 tops finest. Have an eye out for that at the um, National next week. 
booked the hotel finally. Adrian Gonzalez is right there, so looking forward to getting checked in there and just spending most of the time across the street at the National. And the next card is a Dave Winfield rookie card, 1974 tops, and that is in beautiful condition. Dave Winfield rookie card. That is very nice. Always love rookies from the 70s. And there he is, Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. Um, this is actually the second one that uh, Mr. David Marion sent to us. And uh, they're both in great shape. I think I still have the other one. I don't think I've uh, sent that one out yet. It might still be here. Um, let me see. I only have a few of these left. From It's around here somewhere, I think. But that's a nice one. Dave Winfield rookie card. Five packs left to go. See what's coming up next. Hope you guys like this little mini-series. I've got one more video to do. Probably do that sometime next week. Just been trying to do them like once a week. I always like doing little series. Um, now that the worst cards of all time series is over with, this is kind of like taking the spot of the little weekly series until I think of something else to do for a series. Let's see what we have in here. Kurt Schilling, score. Lance Berkman, top prospect card. And also Gabe Kapler's on there, manager of the Phillies. Tony Gwynn, 87. David Ortiz, that's a nice one, back with the Twins. What is that, 2000? I'm really bad at this year. I think it's 2003. Um, no, 2001, I told you. I'm awful with the uh, 2000s because I was not collecting at all. Bill Buckner, 72 tops. Doyle Alexander, 73. Kurt Flood, 70. 72. Carlton Fisk, and the hit is a 73 card of the great Nolan Ryan. How about that one? Uh, I want to say that... We have a couple of these Nolan Ryan cards that were sent to us. I, I want to say we, that uh, David sent us a 71, a 74, and now a 73 tops Nolan Ryan uh, in really nice condition again. Um, I know some of you um, naysayers out there will be, it's a little bit off center, left to right, but a lot of the cards are from this era, but it's still beautiful to me. That's a nice one. Card number 220, Lynn Nolan Ryan. I'm always looking for Nolan Ryan cards out there. Um, if flea marking the stuff to send on to a buddy of mine, and that's a nice one. Nolan Ryan, love these older cards. By the way, David was um, he was around and collecting back in the 70s, which is why there's so many 70s cards. And his note that we showed you before he tells us that he was lucky enough to attend all of the Orioles home games in the 1970 World Series against the Big Red Machine which is pretty awesome. Um, I was I went to three of the Indians World Series home games in um, 2016. I skipped Game 7, though. Um, I just couldn't. I, I don't know why. A Rolls Chapman rookie card is a nice one. I think uh, it might have had to do with the ticket prices were surging so high on StubHub. I was like, you know what? This money would probably be better set aside for my family than uh, me going to a baseball game. So I missed out on that, but... I did see three of the World Series games up there, which was pretty awesome. Ken Griffey Jr., by the way, would be remiss to uh, skip over him. Juan Marichal, 1965 tops is a nice one. And the hit is going to be a Rocky Colavito card there. Uh, making a kind of a funny face there. He almost looks like he's been hypnotized. I haven't seen this card before. Rocky Colavito, 1963 tops. There's the back. No wax or anything on that one. Very, very nice from the Detroit Tigers. And we have a grand total of three packs left to go here in this little mini-series, or this particular video of the mini-series. Got an R.A. Dickey relic on the top. That's a nice one. R.A. Dickey, master of the knuckleball. Kind of followed up with um, we had Tim Wakefield. We kind of got spoiled with Tim Wakefield for all those years. And R.A. Dickey came along, threw his a little bit harder. I guess now Stephen Wright's still kind of around. Just wouldn't be baseball without a knuckleball or somewhere. I used to like this set a lot. A Superstars Milkbone cards. Tom Glavin. I remember my grandma used to always set those aside for us. And whenever we would go to see her, maybe like once every other month or so, she'd have a bunch of packs of those for me and my brother. Used to love that set. Opening day from 2003. There's our 2003 design. But what else do we have here? Hyunjin Ryu. Gold Cup card. Barry Bonds. Joe Rudy, Eddie Matthews, 74. Got a nice 1980 Gary Renneke. 
Rod Carew, 73, Hall of Famer Rod Carew. That's a beautiful card. And the hit in the pack, it's going to be, on, no, it's just a Ricky Henderson. An Ozzy Smith, 1980 tops. I got a little scared there for a second. Like, no way. Um, the Ricky Henderson, if I'm not mistaken, also has that blue border with that green um, banner right there. But that's a nice one. Ozzy Smith, 1980 tops. That's his second year card. His rookie card, 79 tops, is a card that I always try to pick up whenever I see it. I was able to get one at the flea market. Last one I bought, I think I paid $7.50 for. Um, but um, this is still a nice card. Second year, Ozzy Smith. Never known for his hitting, but man, could he field one of the best, if not the best, fielding shortstops of all time for sure. Two packs left to go. Got a Sammy Sosa rookie on the top, 1990 upper deck. That used to be a pretty popular card back in the day, but then, um, of course, all the steroid um, stuff came along and the um, hobby, all the hobby values went way down. This card you could probably pick up for about 50 cents nowadays. Gary Sheffield, 89 upper deck. It's not the error card. There's an error card out there with the shortstop. Uh, I think it's flipped upside down or backwards, but the error lies within the uh, position right there. Gary Sheffield came up as a shortstop. Then he really bulked up, became a big time power hitter. Didn't stay at shortstop for too much longer. Victor Robles rookie card is a nice one. What else we got there? Altuve, Gabby Sanchez, former Bucko. <clears throat> Excuse me, got to clear my throat there. Xander Bogarts, rookie card. It's pretty cool. Jason Kendall, rookie from 93 tops. And then we have a 72 tops leaders card featuring Mr. October. Reggie Jackson is on there. Tony Oliva and another George Brett rookie card. Holy crap. Two George Brett rookie cards. That is beautiful. George Brett. I'll tell you what we're going to do right now. We're going to give away this George Brett rookie card tomorrow night during the live stream. Make sure you're there, everybody. We're doing a case break of uh, 2019 Topps Archive Signature Series. I believe I said the start time was 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you have to be present to win it. Uh, to win it, all you have to do is like this video. Make sure you subscribe and comment down below just saying whatever you want to say, and I'll randomly pick a commenter. And all you have to do is say, I'm here. And if your name matches the commenter name, then you will win that card. We've been doing that with uh, a lot of these cards recently, giving away one per live stream. And I think that's going to be a pretty popular one. So if you ever need a George Brett rookie card, crease free in nice condition, now is your chance. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, David. Oh, man. Two George Bretts. Holy crap. All right, let's see what we have next. We got a Mike Trout on the top there, Tops Heritage. And this is the last pack for this video, folks. Try to get the video in in under 30 minutes. Bryce Harper. Uh, Fergie Jenkins, 72 Tops Pitching Leaders, is on there. And then we have a Ken Griffey Senior Rookie card. And our hit is going to be, it's an 89 Fleer card. Could this be the infamous Billy Ripken, quote-unquote, error card? It is is a Ripken card and oh boy he's got the obscenity is on there it's a Billy Ripken blank face card we'll just um for all you kids out there we will censor that because if you're watching with your dad right now there is an inappropriate word on the bat uh we're just going to leave it at that it is the Billy Ripken uh we'll just call it butt face card uh this card was a really hot card back in the day um, along with the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card of 89, this 89 Flair card also just kind of like a perfect storm, uh, really kicked in an overdrive, the uh, junk wax era, everybody buying up packs of 89 Flair looking for this card, everyone trying to get their hands on the uh, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. Uh, actually, it was one, if you lived through it, you know, it was a great, great time. Uh, it was all big bubble in, in the end because they were printing so many of the cards we didn't realize it, but it was a, just a fun, fun time to collect where everybody collected baseball cards. There was like 10,000 hobby shops all across the United States. Every town had like one or two card shops. Uh, fun time. And this card was a uh, part of the reason that that whole hysteria started up. So I hope you liked the video, everybody. Please hit this thumbs up button if you haven't already and please subscribe. Um, Really would appreciate that. And make sure you check out the live stream tomorrow and try to win this card. All you have to do is comment on this video, and uh, I'll use a website to randomly pick one comment. And if your name comes up and you're in the live stream, all you have to do is claim it, and then I'll just say, hey, send me an email, um, and it's yours, man. Uh, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow in the live stream. Good night, everybody.